Today we'll talk about skin resurfacing techniques which are the best available treatments for us today. Today I'm going to talk about skin resurfacing for the pigmentations, acne scars and stretch marks and other problems on the skin. Skin resurfacing has been recognized as one of the most advanced techniques we use today for many of the skin problems and it has been a big breakthrough in skin treatments. Earlier we used to do dermabrasions which is one of the oldest techniques. Usually it takes away about one tenth of a millimeter of the top skin. So it's good for removing some of the acne scars, whiteheads and blackheads. But it's not good for deep lesions, deep problems like acne pits, when you have moles or burn marks, even for pigmentations like melasma. And when you do microdermabrasion, we use a diamond tip with suction and we have recognized that as the best method because when you use powders that can get into the eyes. So this technique we still use in between laser treatments. We have also done peels, skin peels in the past. There are two kinds. Chemical peels are the oldest kind and there are laser peels which are new. Either way, Peels of either kind is not really suitable for Asian kind of skin because our skin has a lot of pigmentation and so we get a lot of hyperpigmentation problems or hypopigmentation problems after peels. Oldest technique for chemical peels was phenol peels and the glutaraldehyde peel came later on. Now we have stopped using peels altogether because we have much better techniques. So the laser peels are damaged CO2 or erbium laser and again we have a high risk uh, on Asian skin with this kind of treatment. Therefore we have stopped using laser peels after fractional resurfacing was invented. And the laser peels in our skin, the Asian skin can cause hyperpigmentation which is too much of pigmentation or too little pigmentation or hypopigmentation. Fractional resurfacing is when you treat only portion of the skin and this is the best technique for skin resurfacing. There's no downtime. Patient can go to party in the night after one of these treatments. And it also reduced the hypo and hyperpigmentation which is found with laser peels. And the carbon dioxide was uh, recently invented and Fraxel was the first company which brought carbon dioxide fractionated resurfacing into the world. Again, the disadvantage is still because of this is a laser, we use energy with it, so you can get heat damage, which is hyperpigmentation. And the radio frequency is another fractional treatment, and we use something like this uh, different electrical circuits to use radio frequency or electricity. But again, we still get hyperpigmentation with radio frequency treatments. Then came the physical methods, derma roller is what's shown in this device and derma pen is even newer than that. Derma roller because when we roll it can actually cut the skin and cause a little bit of abrasions on the skin. We like derma pen which, because it makes vertical needle holes <coughs> and it's better. And we use derma pen treatments for different kinds of scars on the skin and one of these would be <coughs> acne scars. These are acne scars. Here we see some deep scars before the treatment and here's the results after the treatment. And if you combine this dermapin treatments with IPL treatments and radio frequency treatments you can even get better results. Sometimes when we get old we get these black color marks, black color little growths on the skin and these are called seborrheic keratosis. Sometimes we burn them and freeze them but the derma pen treatment can remove them without causing any kind of scarring. So now we see these things we usually do a derma pen treatment and see if it goes away after a few months. Whatever is remaining can be taken out with a CO2 laser or you can cut it out or freeze it. Acne scars are very common in Sri Lanka because acne has been quite uh, prevalent in this country. It's usually because of the bad diet but once you have a scar you're gonna have it for the rest of your life 
but we can get remarkable improvement of this with dermapen treatments when you, especially when we combine those with intense pulse light treatments and radio frequency treatments we also use creams to prevent new acne from happening and in serious cases we also use fat grafting where we take some non-aging fat from the stomach back underarm or thighs and we inject it under the skin to remove uh, the lost tissues actually uh, replace the lost tissues from the acne scarring when we do the demo pain burn scars are again treated with demo pain to get a good result like shown in this picture crossfit lines are lines you can see on the side of the eye gets worse with smiling and this is seen with the old age and you can treat them successfully with dermapen treatments and even if you have very deep scars on the skin dermapen treatments uh, actually give very good results so here's another example of stretch marks stretch marks you can see from pregnancies or when somebody gains weight rapidly you get these marks on the skin due to stretching of the skin they're called stretch marks and especially seen after pregnancies can treat them with dermabend treatments and get a very good result and for neck uh, treatment of the neck which has got age and got loosened we use dermabend treatments very successfully sometimes we use collagen gel and dermabend treatments done over it and combine that with IPL treatments and radio frequency which is a laser treatment to get maximum skin tightening